Like just the sort of person to answer me this. <clears throat> What's full of clothes, has a door, and three ears? It's a wardrobe, of course, but I was fibbing about the ears. <laughs> well, I woke up this afternoon, then I went straight back to sleep. Yeah, I woke Like, weird, man. Strange place to leave a wardrobe. <gasps> Hello? Hmm. An empty wardrobe like in the middle of the countryside. This can mean only one thing. Time for a nap. Dylan? Oh, hi, Florence, man. Like, what are you doing in the wardrobe? Wardrobe? W what wardrobe? Be careful, Florence. I think he may finally have lost his marbles. Like, where's it gone? Where's what gone, Dylan? The wardrobe! There was this wardrobe, and I stepped inside to grab a few zeds, and next thing, I'm here, and I'm a bit confused. You're confused? Dylan, where was this wardrobe? Like, over... no, uh, over... I think it... Ah, oh, yeah, that away. Florence? Don't go away. I'll be right back. There. Look, wardrobe. And I thought to myself, cool place to have a kit. So I stepped inside and... Well, it's certainly a very colourful wardrobe, Dylan. Hmm. Where did he go, Dougal? Dougal? He... Uh, he's... he's gone. I can see that, Dougal. But where to? In there. He just stepped inside and... Poof! Poof! Yes, Florence. Poof! There he wasn't. Well, it looks like he was telling the truth. Maybe he's back inside the shed. No, he's not there. Well, where is he? I don't know. But I think we ought to look for him. Can I stay here? I've got some unfinished business with my bone. Dougal, what's more important? Your friends or a silly old bone? <sighs> Dylan? Oh. Dylan! Now, let's see. I reckon the quickest way to find that flap-eared fuddle bunny would be to follow him. Can I be sure I'll end up in the same place as Dylan? Oh, come on, Dougal. Are you a dog or a dormouse? Here goes. There is nothing quite as lovely as a lovely, lovely cow. Lovely as anything. Oh, how dare you, Dougal! It's not what you think. I don't care what I think. Interrupting a gal in the middle of her most intimate moments. Oh, get out! Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. I, I, I mean, it's not my fault. As soon as I've got this stuff off my face, I'll show you what I do to unwanted intruders in a lady's boudoir. I, uh, uh, oh, oh, uh... Dylan, where are you? <laughs> Dougal, any luck? Yes, you could say that. A spot of very bad luck, actually. <laughs> Can't stop to chat, Florence. <laughs> Dougal, come back here and take your punishment like a man. Uh, I can't. I'm a You'll be an inside out dog when I get my hooves on you. See you later, Irvin Truth. <laughs> come out of there. Come out and. Oh, well, if you want to be marmalised in a cupboard, it makes no difference to me. Turn 
turned out nice again, Mr. Rusty. Certainly has. Now, Mr. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, morning, Mr. Rusty. Hello, Mr. Grimsdale. D Dougal, I didn't see you go in. No, you wouldn't have. It's uh, a little trick I do with a wardrobe. Still, it seems I've shaken off the rampaging cow. Um, is it me or is Dougal talking nonsense? I think it's Dougal. Oh, Mr. Grimsdale, while I'm here, do you think I might avail myself of one of your pies? Uh, yes, of course, Dougal. Help yourself. Uh, much obliged. Well, I don't know how it happened, Brian, dear. One minute I was chasing after Dougal, the next I'm sitting in your garden. In my gravel collection, which you have severely disarranged, Ermintrude. Oh, so sorry, dear heart. Still, it's only gravel, isn't it? Only gravel? Only? Where are you? Oh, hello, Brian. I'm um, Intrude. You haven't seen Dylan, have you? No, Florence. Do you want him for something? Well, no, not really. It's just I'm a little bit worried about him. You see, he stepped into this wardrobe and <gasps> sort of disappeared. A wardrobe? Yes, Dylan found this wardrobe. It made him disappear. <gasps> he reappeared in my shed. So Dougal and I have been looking for him. Florence! That's exactly what happened to me. What? You oh. were looking for Dylan, so you thought you'd see if he was hiding under my gravel collection? Oh, silly, Brian. No, I, I chased Dougal into the wardrobe and I ended up here. In my gravel collection? Oh, but that means Dougal didn't mean to surprise me. I've been chasing him under false pretenses. I must find him and apologise. Dougal! Dougal, dear! Now to deal with this pie. Yum. Mm. Mm. Do I smell pie? No, you do not. Yes, I do. This oh. nose never lies. Go on, give us a bite. Get off. That's private property, that is. Go on, scat. Small sport, come on, give us a share. This is my pie, but I'm not sharing it with anyone. I come back. I just want a couple of mouthfuls. No, buzz off, you Dive, you dive, fly. dive. So you see, Brian, it wasn't really Ermintrude's fault. A disappearing wardrobe, you say? That's the sort of thing, yes. Well, well, well. I must say, I'd like to take a look at this phenomenon. It's just over there. Dougal, dear heart, where are you? <coughs> I want some pie! <laughs> you have to be up pretty early in the morning to be up before a... I mean, you can fool some of the flies some of the time, but you can't fool... Oh, shut up, Dougal, and get yourself outside that pie. <laughs> oh, no! It's her! Dougal! Oh, quick, into the wardrobe! I come to apologise! I wasn't to know you were victim of a, a rampaging wardrobe. Dougal, come back! <laughs> Most singular. One minute Ermin True was there, the next quite, quite gone. How very peculiar. Brian, I don't think it's a very good idea to. <laughs> Brian? Oh well. So sorry for jumping to conclusions earlier on. I had no idea you had been unwittingly swept to my boudoir by a wardrobe. <sighs> Apology accepted. Oh, like, oh, hi, guys. Hey, you won't believe the weird dream I just had all about a wardrobe. It was no dream, Dylan. It actually happened. What an adventure! For real? Then, like, wow, city by the sea, man. Quite amazing. Do you know that wardrobe defies all the laws of science? Mm. And I've got a pretty good idea who defied them. Zebedee? Florence? That wardrobe, it wouldn't have anything to do with you, would it? 
Oh, just a little. And now that I've got everyone here, I suggest it might be time to... Get off, you marauding monster! And go on, Meanie! Just a mouthful! This is my pie! Oh, don't worry, Dougal. There are enough pies for everyone. As I was about to say, it's time to pie! <laughs> Just for you, just for you.